Objects may possess a property known as an electric charge. An electric field exerts a force on charged objects, accelerating them in direction of the force in either the same or the opposite direction of the electric field. If the charged object has a positive charge, the force and acceleration will be in the direction of the field. In mechanics, the gravitational potential at a location is equal to the work energy transferred per unit mass that is done by the force of gravity as an object moves to that location from a reference location. It is analogous to the electric potential with mass playing the role of charge. Work done by external force in bringing a unit positive charge from point R to P is equal to VP minus VR which is equal to UP minus UR upon Q where VP and VR are the electrostatic potential at P and R respectively. Consider a point charge Q at the origin. We want to determine the potential at any point P with position vector R from the origin. For that we must calculate the work done in bringing a unit positive test charge from infinity to the point P. Since work done is independent of the path, we choose a convenient path along the radial direction from infinity to the point P. For Q is greater than zero, the work done against the repulsive force on the test charge is positive. At some intermediate point P dash on the path, the electrostatic force on a unit positive charge is work done against this force from R to R plus R is the negative sign appears because Total work done W by the external force is obtained by integrating equation 4 from R is equal to infinity to R which equals R. This by definition is the potential at P due to the charge Q. Know that an electric dipole consists of two charges Q and minus Q separated by a small distance to A. Its total charge is zero. It is characterized by a dipole moment of vector P whose magnitude is Q times 2A. The direction of the dipole moment vector is from minus Q to Q as shown in figure. We now determine the electric potential due to a dipole. Suppose the negative charge minus Q is placed at a point A and the positive charge plus Q is placed at a point B. The separation AB is equal to 2A as shown in figure. Consider a system of charges Q1, Q2 and so on till Qn with position vectors R1, R2 and so on till Rn relative to some origin as shown in figure. The potential V1 at P due to the charge Q1 is Similarly, the potential V2 at P due to Q2 is at the potential V3 at P due to Q3 is have a continuous charge distribution characterized by charge density we divide it as before into small volume elements each of size and carrying a charge we then determine the potential due to each volume element and sum or integrate over all such contributions and thus determine the potential due to the entire distribution
we know that the electric field inside the shell is zero. This implies that potential is constant inside the shell as no work is done in moving a charge inside the shell and therefore equals its value at the surface which is 